Missing mother of five, Jennifer Dulos is now presumed dead and three people are accused in her murder. Though investigators have not found the body of Jennifer Farber Dulos, they have a detailed theory of how her estranged husband killed her. Fotis Dulos is now charged with her murder and investigators say his former girlfriend, Michelle Traconis, and friend, Kent Mawinney, conspired with him. Both are facing conspiracy to commit murder charges. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eva Zamaris is joining us live from outside of Stanford Superior Court, where all three of them are set to face a judge soon. Eva? Well, good afternoon to you, Kara. Those three arrests were made yesterday, and we're being told that these appearances are happening any minute now. We're also told that they're going to be brought in one by one with Fotis Dulos appearing last. Now, a major development, Kara, as you already mentioned, in the case of missing mother of five, Jennifer Farber Dulos. Three people arrested and charged in connection to her disappearance in just one day. Now, we want to show you this video captured by Drone 3 yesterday. You can actually see the moment that her estranged husband, Fotis Dulos, was taken into state police custody yesterday morning. He's been charged with murder, felony murder, and kidnapping. Investigators do believe he's responsible for attacking Farber Dulos inside her new Canaan home last May, ultimately killing her and attempting to cover it all up by cleaning her house with supplies and rolls of paper towels, disposing of evidence and tying her up with zip ties, taking her away from the house. Now we've learned from investigators they do believe his friend, his friend Kent Mulwinney, and former girlfriend Michelle Draconis conspired with him. Now, all three of them are appearing before a judge here at Stanford Superior Court today on these charges. Their attorneys had no comment about the case when they did walk into the courthouse this morning. Now, the one thing that Norm Pattis did say, that's Fotis Dulos' attorney, is that he paused very briefly by our microphone and he said, here's a news story for you. Norm has no comment, but we are expecting to hear from him after this appearance today, and we will have continuing coverage on this on Eyewitness News starting at 4.30. Live in Stanford, I'm Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Eva, thank you. We will wait to see what happens in court. We have much more on the murder arrest on our Channel 3 app, and that's where you can also read all three arrest warrants. You can read a statement from Jennifer Dulles' family spokesperson and learn more about the timeline of events surrounding her disappearance.